Hello, babies and bastards. My name is TV Skyne, and welcome back to the Boss Designs of Bloodborne. I almost forgot how to say that. It's been so long since I last recorded one of these episodes. So, last time, we conquered Yahargul ish I well, I hope so, um, and destroyed the One Reborn, which seemed to be some kind of weird attempt to make a god or to ascend humanity or whatever, some kind of Gendu Ikari human instrumentality project-ass freaking bit of nonsense. We're going to dealt with that. That problem is solved, and it'll never be a problem ever again. So now, we need to decide on a new direction in which to head. And fortunately, since I have, I do have the benefit of uh, reviewing my own footage of me playing, uh, I've noticed a couple of things that I missed in Yahargul in reviewing the footage from the previous episode. Which, hey, advantage me. And we are going to go find those things, and then from there we will decide on a new direction in which to go. Okay, uh, Mr. Laser Man, could you please laser those things? Thank you, Mr. Laser Man. So somewhere over here, somewhere... Oh, 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 Okay, somewhere over here... There is, aha, there's a hole in this thing, and I think you can, yeah, oh, okay. Uh, did I just kill myself? Uh, can I survive? Yes, okay, okay, so this is intentional, this is intended. Because I saw that hole in the fence, and I was like, okay, can you jump down there? Is that like a thing, or is that just like an opportunity to fall down and die? And I figured if we were going to do it, we had to do it early in the stream. Oh, sh oh, oh, it's fine. <laughs> right. Oh, God, am I trapped? At least there's an item here. Upper cath- Oh, hey, a key. Nice. The upper echelons of the healing church are formed by the school of menses based in the unseen village and the choir occupying the upper cathedral ward. This key brings one a step closer to the choir. Huh. Well, uh... Where the hell am I now? Oh, it's a door. Convenient. Just gonna grab this goddamn chest before... Oh, tiny tonitrus. Okay, where the hell am I? Uh, you gonna do? You're not gonna do it. Yes, it moved. It moved. It moved. It moved. No. Okay. Oh, I'm just over the bridge. Oh, okay. Well, okay. I, man, I thought I found a completely new area. Right then. So. At this point, we have two things, primarily, that we could do. We can go uh, to the lecture building second floor and start exploring that part of the nightmare. Or we can go and try and see if we can figure out where that key goes. Upper Cathedral Ward. Because I there, uh, there is one... I mean, there is a locked door that we know about. Uh, the one up in the... up at the top of the workshop. Hi, how are you doing? Okay. Right, well, no tangible improvement there. How are you doing? Okay, then. Okay, well, she seems to be herself. Because, like, the only two door... Well, no, this is the only door I can think of. Like, in the Cathedral Ward that I know is locked. But otherwise, it would have to be somewhere... Presumably, like, in the actual... Okay, you stop that. I'm a little OP for the area. Ow! 
<laughs> Was that hubris? Was that hubris? Did I just hubris myself? Is that why that happened? Well, okay then. And then you'll give me my blood echoes back. Thank you. Okay, I can't ignore you. But I can just bash my way through you. What a thrill with darkness and silence through the night. Right. Oh, the other it could also... Well, no, that's not an openable door. So, let's see. Hey! Okay. Because I was thinking that the, the path behind the... Uh, where the cleric beast used to be. That maybe the door there would be the one. But nay. Welcome to the upper cathedral ward. That's weird, because, like, the grand cathedral is, like, down there. Like, the big grand cathedral with, like, the leader of the healing church. Like, a... Amelia in it. But I guess there's another upper, 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 upper level above that. And it's got things like you in it. Hello. Uh. You are horrifying. And you crawl a little bit too much like... Is it just me, or is that thing crawling like an infant? Like, is that... Is it just me, or does that look a little bit like a fetus? And I can still hear the goddamn baby crying. I was hoping after the one reborn that would stop, but... Okay... Right then. So this area is... Like, there's nowhere in Bloodborne that isn't creepy. But this area is like... Is like more creepy. Hi, how are you? Oh, you have a lot of health again. And you hit really hard again. Damn it. I'm trying to remember the timing on there, like to parry them. There it is. Oh, oh. Oh, there is more of them. I don't like the way you crawl! I don't like it! I don't like it. Hey, lantern. Lantern good. Lantern good. But like with like with the naked trees and those like twisting, curling branches and all of that. Like that's wow, we're like diving deep into classic horror imagery here. Oh, I'm sorry, but I need you to wake up. Channel some blood echoes for me, would you? Uh, don't want to lose these. Uh, let's take more stamina. Okay, the back to the cre- Genuinely, this area unnerves me a little bit. There's light in the windows. Someone's home. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh, why are there so many of them? No, 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 no! Oh god! Ah! <laughs> no! No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, I don't want it. I thought there would be fewer of them over here. I thought wrong.
Don't you start with me ominous single female soloist with a choir behind her. Oh, those are not statues of people. Oh, those aren't people at all. Those are not statues of... In fact, those statues look a little bit like grown-up versions of the... ...of the little goopy icky ones. Okay, this feels like a trap of some kind. You're in the no, right? No, I'm not. Is something gonna drop down on me? Okay, could you... Could, could you walk into the bonfire for me, please? <laughs> okay, yes, I guess? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, don't do that. Whatever that is. Would appreciate it if you took more damage. Choir garb. Okay, but clearly something else is here, so I don't want to look at the menu right now. <laughs> Ghosts. Okay, but who is making that noise? Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna 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 walk out here. Where probably I'm safe, and then we'll look at the garb. Attire of the choir, high ranking members of the healing church. Members of the choir are both the highest ranking clerics of the healing church and scholars who continue the work that began at Birkenbath. Of course it's Birkenbath. Together with the left behind great one. Oh, Together with the left behind Great One, they look to the skies in search of astral signs that may lead them to the rediscovery of true greatness. That doesn't sound ominous at all. But okay, if that makes the music make sense, though. Like if this if this place is that'll open from the other side, yeah. Um Oh! Oh! Oh, oh! Uh uh you have blue eyes? Why do you have blue eyes? Beasts normally have red eyes. What the heck? Why did you have blue eyes? But like, if this place is the home of the choir, who are apparently some high-ranking religious organization, then the choice of music makes perfect sense. Choir, huh? We've heard about those before. The Celestial Choir. Like, they've shown up in item descriptions and stuff. Okay. Who is making that goddamn noise? I would like you to be dead so you can't make that noise anymore. I guess I have to go down here. Is it just, like... A stairway surely couldn't be a portal to a boss arena, right? But this big open... Like... Oh, son of a bitch! Not a boss, but still problems. Oh, problematic, problematic. Whew, got a little button mashy there, I shouldn't have. Ah. That was a nice chandelier. Oh, you're the one who's been making the noises. No, you're not. Your your feet don't make that noise. That's splashy splashy. Yeah, there we go. That was the combo I was looking for. Oh, hell, this place is creepy. Like, it's the mist. It's the goddamn mist. It makes me paranoid about jump scares. Which we already kind of frickin' got with that- okay. Are you there to bait me to just run forward to go for you so that something can come out of the side path and f screw me? Fine! But you're coming with me!
Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ew. Yeah, man, you, you got freaking ass. I'm freaking the you know, monster bastards. Okay, so that's a brain. That's the that's those brain sucker guys. Yeah, they're the ones making the noises. Good. Okay, mystery solved. I am no longer scared. Oh no 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 no! Ugh. God damn freaking thing. Badge of a member of the choir, elites of the healing church. The eye signifies the very cosmos. The choir stumbled upon an epiphany very suddenly and quite by accident. Here we stand, feet planted in the earth, but might the cosmos be very near us, only just above our heads? Yes, that is how space works. What a thrill When darkness and silence through the night Oh, that's a trap. That's a trap. That is... that... <laughs> it's a trap! I've never seen anything that looks more like a trap in my life. Okay. So nothing has sprung yet. But I just, like, this many items just lying there glowing. Tempting. Like, there's gonna be a werewolf through the window. Yeah, see? See, that guy got screwed. He got grabbed onto by something. If it jump scares me, I'm gonna scream. Okay. No! No trap! You just put that sh there to f Whoa. with me! Okay, then. Oh, I guess it is a shortcut if I want to go up here to do something. Or other- oh. Oh, vengeance. Vengeance! Oh, fuck! I was blinded by revenge! Orphanage key. I'm just tripping on keys today. Okay, where's the other one? Oh, he returned to his position, did he? Orphanage key, birthplace of the choir. The orphanage shadowed by the Grand Cathedral was a place of scholarship and experimentation. An orphanage that is a place of experimentation, huh? Where young orphans became potent, unseen thinkers for the healing church. Though, that doesn't sound sinister. The choir that would later split from the healing... That would split from the healing church was a creation of the orphanage. Was it now? Okay, and that leads to the place where the werewolf came in. Cool. Okay. Ah! This goddamn place! Oh, hello? Are you... can I target? No? Okay, well, this is, uh... Have audience with superior being and reminiscent of kin of cosmos. Remember nightmare?
Okay, so I guess I have to strike that pose. Well, that doesn't seem to do anything. That was anticlimactic. I thought maybe, like, striking the pose would cause, like, some kind of teleportation or moon ritual to happen. I don't know. I mean, but surely there's some kind of... There's some kind of point to this. Notes? Anything? Okay. Um, like, do I have to match it exactly? Or maybe I have to have more insight. Oh, well. Uh, we got a hat, I think. Attire of the choir, high-ranking members of the Healing Church. The eye covering indicates their debt to the teachings of Master Willem, even though their paths diverged. Ah, can't change hats while I'm posing. Wait, I'm posing the wrong way, aren't I? Does it matter what position the arms are in? I don't know. No amount of patience seems to be... There's some puzzle here. Like, something's def has to be here. But I guess... Do I need a thing? Do I have a thing? Well, I have that. Because that's like from an infant grape. Maybe that... Uh, hmm. uh, okay. Well, I'll just have to remember this for later. It can't just be for... Or maybe it is just for a gesture, actually, because there's a door down here. Maybe that's the... Because the, I, I was going by the whole thing of, like, oh, everything had been leading up to this, right? Like, everything... Oh, everything's been leading up to this room. There must be some kind of secret there. But maybe it's just, like, a little dead-end room you can go to and it's, like, a joke. And you can get a gesture from the dead mummy and you're actually supposed to go through the door down here. It's this door. That's the one that leads forward. Opened with the orphanage key. Hello. Wait, so this is the orphanage? <laughs> okay, so like, these things look like fetuses. They just do. They just do. And the fact that this place is called the orphanage as well. Like, oh my god, I mean, we already knew that this game has birth imagery in it from The One Reborn. We talked about that extensively. Like, I've known that there's gonna be birth and menstruation and, like, all the things about, like, motherhood and things like that. Fuck you! Like, that that's all gonna be an important thematic component of, of this game. Can you climb ladders? Haha, <laughs> no. I knew that that was going to be an important thematic component of the game for a while. Do I have to wear the hat? Is that it? Like, do I have to be dressed like someone from the thing? Oh, sh that's that, uh... Remember those people we met at Birgenwerth? They were dressed like this. Huh, they were choir members, I see. So we have cir cycles and circles all over the... Am I overthinking this? This cycles and circles within circles and wheels within wheels. Okay. And now we wait.
Anyway, this stairway looks ominous. I mean, theoretically, it's just ordinary architecture for a pool. Okay, hi. Hello. Haven't seen you since your Sefka's clinic. Or maybe since the Forbidden Woods. One or the other. Those are those the weird little alien critters. How, how much alien stuff is there going to be? Now that we're on the subject, because... Because, like, they're sort of poking at sort of cosmic Lovecraftian horror. And, like, Elder Ones as alien space beings or whatever, rather than being spiritual, necessarily. Or dimensional. This whole thing about the cosmos. Which is very... Those are very big flowers. I... Uh, oh, I don't trust this. I don't trust this at all! Those flowers are too big. They are too large. They are too large. Oh. Oh, sh yeah. Oh, f oh, yeah. oh, okay. Uh. Is this a boss? Or is it just a horde? Um, all right. All right, so that's not the actual thing. Because that didn't damage it at all. Okay. And I'm not getting any souls from them either. Or, uh, blood echoes, rather. Okay, then. Well, I guess we'll deal with the little guys. Oh, no, they just spawn in forever. Okay, great. Right, okay, so... We're playing Spot the Real Boss, are we? Oh, I think I found them. Okay, then. And I lost them again. Although they're not that hard to spot, because they're the only ones that are not running at me. Okay. Oh! Oh, sh Whoa. Okay, all right, all right, okay. I think I pissed it off. Are you still gonna summon those little guys? Because if not... Oh, okay, you... Throwing a tantrum, are we? Okay. Right. Fair enough. I get it. I get it. I get it. And hit him. Right in the ass. Huh. Splash damage. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. No, whatever that is. What up? No. Ah! No. Whatever that is, no. Absolutely not. I don't know what he was about to do. He was clearly going to do something. I was not about to find out what it was. Well, okay, that was an unexpected boss. Why are these plants so big? That was an unex. Oh, it's it's a corn. It's a. Oh, 
god, it's a cornfield, and they're a space alien. It's a crop circle! Oh my god. That's the re visual reference. Okay, fine. Well, that does tell me how to analyze the boss, at least. Ah, oh, jeez, really? <laughs> I was asking how alien this stuff was gonna get, and it turns out quite a bit. Right then. Well, technically, that was a boss. <laughs> Not, not what I was expecting to fight. Okay. So can I... I thought maybe I could burn the flowers. It's like I can cut them either. Okay, it seems like you should be able to do something with them, though. Oh, well. Is there a door here somewhere? Okay, I don't think this is a dead end, though. Not a door, is it? Time for hit. Oh! Oh, well, that worked. Cool. Well, thank you, notes on the ground. Wait, I haven't been in there. Have I? No. No, that's not the same place. But that shrine there looks really similar to the Grand Cathedral Shrine, except it has a throne on it. Aha, hello. There's some leftovers, I see. Oh no. Those are the ones with the ranged attack, I remember. Nope. Ooh, item. Hello. Call beyond? Is that a hunter tool? Long ago, the healing church used phantasms to reach the lofty plane of darkness, but failed to make contact with the outer reaches of the cosmos. The failed right, uh, the right failed to achieve its intended purpose, but instead created a small exploding star. Now a powerful part of the choir's arsenal. At times, failure is the mother of invention. Yeah, 40 arcane though, I'm not getting that into my build. Little late for that. Is this just a shortcut, or? No, it can't be, because I have not been to that cathedral. Assuming that's where I'm going. Oh, it's not. Is that a f dragon? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If there's a summon here, and there's this portal door, and there's that creature lying in there. Well, okay then. Altar of despair, huh? Hi. Lovely place you got here. Are you, uh... Are we gonna be uh, doing the whole mutual murder thing? Because I can summon someone right out... It's not a dragon, it's something very much worse. Because I can summon someone outside of here. Which, to me... Says that you... Uh, might be hostile at some point. Hell, you're creepy. Hostile at some point. Oh, yeah, I target you. Right, okay. So when I get close enough, or if I touch you, or if... if uh, oh, my God. Can I talk to you? Can we just chat? Hi. Hello. I don't... If I don't have to... I mean, I have to. I do have to. It's kind of the concept of the series, but if I don't have to, I don't want to right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she definitely... Uh, they? It? 
Hi. Eh? How about this? Hello. Does that work? Are we connecting? No, 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 wait, 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 it gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Just wait, just wait, you'll see, you'll see. It gets better. Like, it takes a while, but it get. Just, just hang on, just hang on. Almost there. Joe, like, it's gonna blow your mind when I do this. Don't worry. Just, just hang on a second. And you'll see something absolutely fantastic. Ta-da! Huh? 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 No? Jeez, tough crowd. Can I just go past you? Actually, speaking of past you... Is that... That's... That's ROM! Or something like her, a smaller version. That's a ROM. Or something very much like it. Well now, interesting. Because you don't look, um... I mean, if, if there's family, I don't... There's not... I'm sorry to say, I don't see much resemb... Like... No hard exoskeleton. Um, no head? Mouth? Eyes? So this creature looks similar mostly, I think, to the slimy poison creatures we encountered in the Nightmare Frontier. Like, just in terms of its aesthetic, the way that it's put together. The naked sliminess of it all. Although they were more like flatworms or something along those lines. This thing is decidedly more sort of space tentacular. Okay, so here's where I'm in trouble, because... Because my personal... <laughs> like, if I was just playing this game for myself, and this thing isn't attacking me, I would probably just leave it alone? Like, unless it's required to progress the story, I would just leave it alone. But the concept of this series is, like, if that's a boss, and it kind of seems like it would be, given the portal and the big arena and everything, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of have to, in a way. Hmm. But we can put it off. Well, I guess if, if we're starving for a boss fight, we know where to find one. Okay. Well... <laughs> I guess that was the Celestial Emissary. I don't think we fully explored its battle arena yet, but uh, I'll leave that uh, for a later point in time, because for now, I guess it's time for Future Skyen to talk about some aliens. Well, thank you very much, Paskyen. I don't quite have the hair for aliens, I think, but I'll do my level best. But we'll start with what leads up to the Emissary, as usual, the Upper Cathedral Ward and the Orphanage. The Upper Cathedral Ward is an interesting place, first of all, because it's an area of the Cathedral Ward which is above the Cathedral. Broadly speaking, usually, the point of a cathedral is to be the biggest and most imposing and most impressive building for umpteen miles around to communicate both the power of the church that runs them and by their size and prestige to glorify the god that they are dedicated to. We find Vicar Amelia, the nominal head of the church in the cathedral, and yet here is the upper ward, a section of the church's infrastructure elevated even above that. As we learn, the upper ward is the domain of the choir, a section or subsection or sect of the healing church. According to the orphanage key, the choir split from the church proper and seems to exist to support the orphanage. Indeed, the large buildings we explore first are essentially extensions of the orphanage itself, support structures at the foot of the long and ornate staircase that leads to it. The position of the upper ward above Vicar Amelia and her cathedral tells me something also about how the choir thinks of itself, quite literally 
above it all, above all the petty troubles of the plague and above the role of the church as community organizer and healer of the sick. The choir is not concerned with the outside world. Their minds are turned to the heavens. Orphanages need children, though, and, uh, oh boy. These are, according to the concept art, called celestial children. As I noted, while I was being creeped out by them in-game, they crawl in a manner that is entirely too similar to infants and resemble to some degree the shape of an unborn human fetus early in development. Another thing to note, though, and this will be a bit important, are the small and underdeveloped white wing-like appendages growing from their hind section. The emissary, though, and its minions, are aliens. With their awkward, childlike naked bodies, lanky proportions, and giant forehead, these creatures are entirely designed after stereotypical alien imagery. From classic greys to the close encounters of the third kind children, to Mars attacks, to Independence Day, to Spielberg's War of the Worlds, these are capital A aliens. Their design is constructed to look humanoid and familiar, but uncanny and distorted, which is classic horror design. They also look a bit like mushrooms, like something that grows out of the ground and feeds on decay. And in their case, well, they quite literally do. We find them in the lumen flower gardens, emerging out of the ground among the plants. Now, to me, finding aliens in a field of crops reads like a sly little nod to crop circles and the way that alien encounter stories are often associated with rural farmland, but that's not really pertinent to the reading here. No, what matters more is, first, the seemingly endless supply of them, and second, the name of the boss. So first, the endless supply. The orphanage key tells us that children were taken to the orphanage to become potent, unseen thinkers. Right after it tells us that the orphanage is a place of scholarship and experimentation. Well, in character design, the number one classic visual to indicate that someone is a thinker and an intellectual is to give them a five head, basically, literally give them a big brain. Huh. So here's my reading on that. Children were taken to the orphanage by the choir and experimented on for the purposes of turning them into great ones or celestial beings. Which celestial beings? This celestial being, or something quite like it. Remember those little wing-like appendages on the children creatures? Well, to me, this seems like what those wings would look like when they're fully grown. The children, however, are failures. They are not fully developed, and so they were discarded, or, to use a word I have been avoiding intentionally, aborted. Hence the fetus-like look of them. So they are evidence of failed church experiments trying to recreate the thing at the altar of despair, or perhaps create some kind of celestial-human hybrid? The ones in the Lumenflower Garden, though. Um, remember Yosefka, the crazy doctor who wanted us to send her test subjects? Her clinic, and the woods connected to her clinic, were the first place we encountered these alien creatures. So what it seems to me is that the choir found a process to turn people into these little aliens. I think that's why they look so human. And by extension, Yusefka then would have to be a member of the choir, perhaps one that's gone rogue and is working on her own, or maybe she just went out looking for a fresh source of victims. It's not as though Yarnum has a shortage of orphans, though. All those hunters going out to fight the plague and never coming home, the victims of the beast plague themselves. We've seen that happen, haven't we? Clever, clever healing church. Their abuse of blood ministration creates a beast plague, which, in turn, provides a steady supply of orphans that they can consume in their quest to create pet celestials. Speaking of which, the thing that we found in the Altar of Despair, that dragon-like mass of tentacles and limbs, well, according to the choir garb, the choir is working together with the left-behind Great One, that would be slimy here, presumably, and that gives some context to the name of the boss, I think. Celestial Emissary. The obvious understanding of the term would be that it is a celestial who is an emissary to the mortal world, but the other way of reading it is that it is an emissary from the mortal world to the Celestials. 
I think that's why the Orphanage made these things. All those dumped failures, all those mindless minions, all to create the big boy here. The Emissary, a creature that is both human and celestial. A bridge for the gap, allowing the choir to communicate with their pet Great One, begging it for scraps of cosmic wisdom so they can continue their experiments to turn more children into pale imitations of it. The Healing Church creates a Beast Plague, the Beast Plague creates orphans, and using those orphans, the choir creates God. Hey, thank you very much for watching another episode of The Boss to Science of Bloodborne. Uh, depending on how much of what I said in that analysis the YouTube algorithm picks up on, this video might get demonetized. Oh boy. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, well, uh, you know what to do. If you click some buttons, the algorithm will know that you engaged with the video, and that is helpful for YouTubers like me. I also have a Patreon, a merchandise store, and a tip jar. If you want, you can use any of them, and that helps me pay my rent and stuff. But if you don't want to, or you're not able to, Please don't worry about it. Watching the videos is enough. I also have a shorts channel where I post quick one minute character design analysis and I have a let's play channel where besides the other games that I'm playing over there, you can watch the unedited versions of these episodes of Bloodborne, which I record live on stream every once in a while. So if you're interested in any of that, hey, links in the description. Outside of that, thank you again for watching. Please remember to wear a mask and wash your hands. Take the vaccine when it comes and try to act in solidarity with those who are working to make the world a better place. Thank you.